gentlemen, this is a Jazzy Fizzle production. My nizzle. Outlaws. Outlaws. Sick put it here. Got another package to be unboxed. I'm gonna show you guys what this is. What we have here, guys, it's uh, two memory kit modules for my Mac computer. Uh, it's actually two two gigabyte DDR DDR3 RAM. The Mac computer is. The summer of 2010 edition, and they only come stock with four gigabytes of DDR3, which is not enough with all the video, photo, photo editing that I'm doing with the with the computer. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it to add another four gigs, making it at a total of eight gigs of memory. The memory that I purchased is crucial technology. I've done some extensive research um, either to go with a no-name eBay brand or to go with a name brand and uh, I decided I'd go with the name brand I mean I don't want anything happening with the Mac computer so this is the crucial technology SD sorry DDR3 RAM let's go ahead and install it on the uh, computer and I'll show you guys how to do that And this is the computer that we're upgrading today. This is the summer 2010 iMac edition. Uh, I'll show you guys what it has. Stock, it comes with a pre-built in four gigabytes of DDR3 memory. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade it to eight gigabytes with the RAM that I purchased from Crucial Technology. Let me just, uh, First thing, of course, you need to do is make sure you shut down the computer. Let's go ahead and do that here. Shut down. Okay. So once you relocate the Mac computer to a much more stable environment, what you want to do, of course, is that you would want to make sure that the outlet plug is disconnected from your computer and all necessary USB ports, audio cables, and whatnot. So it's just the Mac computer unit. And of course you have your DDR3 RAM available. And what you would need and the necessary tools to remove this uh, the pedal on the bottom would be a Phillips screwdriver. I'll go ahead and grab that for you. Okay, so at this point, what I did was I laid down a towel so that it would not scratch the uh, screen on the iMac before putting the, uh, the iMac computer down. This is the crucial 2 gig DDR3. And of course, you need to have your tool ready to remove the panel. Once the panel is removed, of course, the screws just stay on the panel, which is really nice. You can see the one 2 gig and the other 2 gig. DDR3. So what we want to do to make sure that we don't short anything is just touch your computer to get grounded like so and uh, you're going to remove this flap, you're going to remove this flap so that we can go ahead and insert the addition. So judging by the notches it seems as if 
with the ram you want to do it so that the front face is actually facing the front of the Mac computer the back facing the back let's go ahead and install this here okay so once it's installed properly inserted the right way you should hear a snap there we go okay put the flat, flat back in this flap is actually what you use to remove the RAM so if you wanted to put 4 gigs and 4 gig instead in order to remove that you just pull on this tab Okay, once again the front of the stick will be facing the front of the computer and we're going to install it like so here here click put the flaps back in and just like that we've just expanded the memory of the Mac computer started back up let's go ahead and see the difference we want to make sure the computer is detec detecting the uh, memory stick that we just installed so we'll click on the Mac about this Mac and right there 8 gigs DDR3 alright guys thanks for watching if you have any questions regarding the install let me know bye for now ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen. this is a Jazzy Fizzle production